All right, guys, I've got a pretty easy and neat little project for you today. So on the breadboard, we've got an Arduino Nano. And we're taking the five volts from the Nano and the ground, and we're passing them off to the ground, you know, the power rail. Then over here, we bring them back so, you know, both power rails are active. Now here we have a standard 10 amp relay. You can use this on your 120 volt circuits, but uh, for today's use, just to make things simple, I'm gonna plug it into my little power supply here, okay? So, one contact to the bulb, the positive, and the other side of the bulb is plugged into the relay into the, uh, I believe it's normally open. We'll plug that in there. And we will give it 12 volts. Okay. Next, we've got one of these ultrasonic sensors. So, we will plug ground into the ground rail, the plus five into the plus five rail. Sort out these wires here. The echo pin goes into D3. And the trigger pin goes into D2. Just like that. So when we wave our hand over the sensor, the light will turn on. Now I thought this would be a cool project to use for like workbench lights or something. You know, you can mount this very tiny little thing somewhere. You can plug a 120 volt, you know, say a four foot fluorescent, double fluorescent strip into it. Mount this up towards the top of your relay or a top of your bench, set the distance, wave your hand in front of it, lights go on, wave them again, lights go off. So let's take a look at the code for this. Then we'll come back and check it out in action. All right, this is the motion activated relay written on January 24th, 2017. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash C slash Learn Electronics for more videos like this. All right, first off, we're going to include the new ping library for use with our sonar sensor. Then we're gonna do our defines. We're gonna define relay as 10, echo pin is two, trigger pin is three, and in this case, we're going to set our max distance at 100 centimeters. I tried it on 500, didn't work out so well. Then just a couple variables, integer alert and integer old. Then we're going to access the new ping library and set up sonar with trigger pin, echo pin, and max distance which we defined up here. So you could just as easily put three to 100 in there, however you want to do it. All right, in setup, we set our relay for output and serial began to 9600. I use that to debug. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna send a ping, or we're going to wait a half a second to begin and then we are going to send a ping and set the value of our variable alert to that ping. Then if you need to debug, you can do it here. All right, so now here is the thinking of the program. We're gonna say if alert is not zero, which means something has triggered the sensor, then old equals old plus one. Yes, I could have just gone old plus plus, but 
I want to make sure I'm very clear on how I write these and what the thinking is for folks who are just starting out. Now we're going to give you a, a little bit of time to get your hand out of the way. And we are going to say if the div if the modulo of 2 is equal to 0, which meaning if it's divisible, if it's an even number, then we will write hi and turn the relay on. If it's an odd number, it will be low. So that means every other time you pass your hand through the field of that sensor, it is going to change states. I mean, come on, that is one simple little program. All right, let's go take a look at it in All action. Right. You can see we've got the Arduino powered up. We've got our power supply for the 12 volt bulb powered up. And all we have to do is sweep our hand through the field and the light goes on. Through again, it goes off. I mean, it doesn't matter how you come in. Or how you go out. And that's it. A motion controlled Arduino powered relay actuated switch. Pretty simple project. Great for beginners. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. Don't forget the giveaway. You gotta be subscribed. I'll see you next time.